Hello guys. Um, this morning I wanted to um, come and do a video. Um, I really wasn't um, especially going to do anything about this because I didn't know anything about it. Um, I just happened to see something uh, come across my news feed uh, today. And so I wanted to um, address it. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, now, I'm going to come from a bit of a different perspective, and that's mostly because I am no longer a Christian. I, I no longer um, identify myself as a Christian. Okay? Uh, now, let me get straight um, a couple things for people who may not know me and may come across this video. I'm not an atheist. I don't hate God. I don't hate Christians. Um, and uh, yes, I believe in God. You know, uh, maybe not in the same way that many of, of so-called Christians do uh, and the way that I used to believe. Um, but um, I certainly believe in the divine. Now, um, this is not the video to go into all of that and everything, but the topic, um, the, the, the subject is about the stepping down of Dr. Fred Price's uh, son. Now, when I was a Christian, um, I probably watched all of them because I watched TBN religiously, <laughs> you know, uh, and so... You know, I knew Fred Price, um, knew of him, knew of his ministry, his teachings, and so forth. Uh, and so uh, that's how I know about his son and everything. And uh, but I have to say, um, he, and I'm quite sure, uh, was led by his father and probably some other elders uh, because he did. Uh, say something in reference to that in his uh, speech. Um, I think they had a lot to do with that. Um, one thing I can say, uh, I have never, personally, I don't know if there is or not, but I have never really heard anything uh, bad or negative <clears throat> or anything about um, Dr. Fred Price. You know, and so... Um, I would count him as a man of, you know, having some integrity, whether he wants to protect his ministry, whether he doesn't want any backlash coming, uh, to him because of somebody else's, uh, indiscretion, um, or what have you. Um, I think he had a lot to do with the decision of his son stepping down. Uh, his son called them personal misjudgments, you know. Uh, just from that, you can, you know, that it was something that he did, you know, um, and it's really neither here or here nor there, you know, no, nobody's faults or whatever are any greater than anybody else's, you know, you do what you do and, you know, uh, and so, but what I have to say, you know, the state that the Christian church is in, the state that Christianity is in people are leaving by in droves uh, and that's a good thing I say it's a good thing because um, I don't personally think Christianity or really any religion is going to be able to get you where you need to be in this new ascension you know uh, not here to throw stones at Christianity or uh, or uh, any other religion or Christians themselves or what have you. Um, I will say, as far as that, I think it's very, very important, though, that Christians, especially black Christians, um, look at the history, look at the... Um, 
the beginnings, look at the Nicene Council, all these things, you know. So, but getting back to Fred Price Jr., um, I have to say I give him a thumbs up. I have to say I give him much respect. I have to say that um, I think he did a great thing uh, by stepping down. Uh, when he made the initial announcement, you might see some of the videos uh, even here on YouTube. Um, there were a lot of groans. There was a, oh, no, no, don't step down, whatever, you know. And I guess it's coming from a heart of love. You're, you know, people that love you and so forth. And, you know, I, I guess it's understandable. But the, the big thing is that he needs to. He needs to. He understands. He overstands that he made an indiscretion. He did something where he needs to go back, recalibrate and re-evaluate his life Uh his purpose, his destiny, his all of that. And I give him respect for doing that because even if you're not, I mean, everybody's in a position of leadership, honestly, <laughs> you know, whether it's on a job or whether it's in a church or whatever, even if it's in your home, you're in a position of leadership where people look up to you. Somebody is looking up to you. And so um, I, I just think it's vital that leaders carry a certain type of decor, uh, decor and I say that like I say because you have people looking up to you so if he feels like and his elders and his dad and so forth feel like they need he needs to step down let the man step down you know don't you know, I heard somebody else saying, oh, you need to just go fast and pray and repent and get yourself back up and go and do what you need to do. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. It That's proper order. That's proper order. Let him sit down, reevaluate, figure out what he needs to do with his life. Figure out what, I mean, because we need time to heal, you know, and that is so much of the problem with with us in America, you know, we're so quick, we're so fast, we're in a microwave generation, we, we don't sit and ponder and reason and, you know, sit down and gather ourselves and gather our thoughts and take time enough to really figure out our life, that takes time, that, that, that doesn't take an overnight or two, three day prayer, uh, fasting session reading a couple of scriptures and say, oh, yep, yeah, I'm good. Let me get back up. Yeah, no, 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 no. We don't, you, we need time in our life. You know, so many of us have uh, relationship issues and relationships problem because, problems because we jump from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. And you're just piling on a bunch of junk. And you're, you're piling on people. You're piling on pro uh, problems. You're uh, piling on people's uh, energies and negativities. And they're... I mean, you need to stop, take some time, love yourself, pamper yourself, talk to yourself, evaluate your life, evaluate your, uh, evaluate your decisions, evaluate those things that led up to those decisions. I mean, because they, it, it can be life changing. It could be major, you know, I don't know personally what happened with, uh, Fred Price Jr., but whatever it was could possibly have the, the ability or the, uh, the, the probability of destroying his life, destroying his family's life, destroying his marriage, destroying his children. I mean, you, you don't know what things can happen. So, yeah, he does allow him to do that. I wish other so-called leaders, other people who we put up on pedestals and who we make leaders would do things like that because, you know, I'm not getting preachy or trying to quote those scriptures, but we really have all fallen short and we've fallen short of ourselves <laughs> first and foremost, because, you know, like I say, my, my ideology is much different than when I was a Christian. Been gone a long time out of Christianity. Excuse me, you all. I don't mean to keep doing this. But 
hair keeps getting in my eye. Uh, it's changed a lot, but um, some of those basic principles are still the same. We, we do all fall, fall short, and it's because we are human. But uh, the other part of that scripture, you know, about uh, we all fall short. Um, uh, all of us have fallen short uh, uh, to God's glory. Now, that's us. We're the God. You know, we, we have that in us. We are that. Uh, and so, with that being said, it's, it's ourselves that we're failing. It's ourselves that we are letting down. We should be the first concern. You, you concern yourself with falling short of your own glory. How you have disappointed yourself. And what expectations you have for yourself that you've made this mistake, this indiscretion, this whatever, that you need to get it right. And that needs to be the first priority. That's, I mean, even with Fred Price Jr., that needs to be his first priority over his wife, over his family, over anything. It should be that perhaps he let himself down because, I mean, if you look at the video, he was very, very distraught. I think it was a very, very, very hard thing for him to do, uh, you know, getting up in front of millions because not only is that a big, huge mega church, you got a lot of people who watch the ministry. And so um, I think that was a very, very uh, hard thing for him to do. Uh, you could see he was very broke up. And um, I think he let himself down, you know. So once he heals himself and once he heals uh, those broken pieces or parts of himself, the mistake that he made, Looking at the indiscretion, the mis the mistake that he made, and get that fixed and get that right, then he can work on other relationships. We have to begin to put ourselves first. We have to be the first priority. We have to be. So, um, you know that that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I really wanted to say. Um, I give him much respect, uh, not only uh, as his position in that church and what he feels as if he's called to do uh and as a man as a black man <laughs> you know because the image of the black man here in america is that of dirt they try every aspect there is to destroy the image of the black man, of the black family, of the black marriage, of the black community. I mean, everything. And so when you can find an honorable black man who is doing something, who's standing up, who's saying, look, I, I, I messed up. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I can do that. I can do that. You know, I can do that. And I give him much respect, and I, I hope that uh, he finds his truth. I hope that he finds his way. I hope that uh, he'll find forgiveness. I mean, I really do. I, I hope he finds forgiveness. I really do. I really do. Because none of us can go and live without forgiveness. None of us. You know, and, you know, that that's a, another real big issue that we have here in America, you know, we point fingers, we blame, and we don't forgive at all. Somebody hurts us, somebody done, does something to us, it's straight revenge, it's straight, I'm gonna get you back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not saying let people take advantage of you, I'm not saying let people run all over you, I'm not saying any of that, but I'm saying when a person asks for forgiveness and when a person shows a sincere um, heart of change or wanting to change or asks you, like I said, for forgiveness, that's the least that you can do. And it needs to be done. <laughs> you know, we, we are not at all so above anything that we cannot forgive. That would help the world if we can learn how to forgive more instead of retaliating 
being all emotional and just, you know, trying to do revenge and, and hurt people and what you know as as black people and i'm about to close one of our faults <laughs> you know it can be a fault but one of the things about us so much is that we are such a loving and forgiving people and you know that has its place it needs to be in perspective but we have learned being here in this country i feel we have learned how to be vengeful, how to be uh, unforgiving, how to be hateful, how to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I think it's something we need to get away from because it's not beneficial to us because the way that karma works, the way the universe operates is that when you do a deed, that deed's going to come back in some other form or the same form or just whatever, but it's going to come back. So you do something today uh, against somebody, you know, you want them to forgive you, whatever. They don't forgive you, you know, eventually that's going to come back up on that same person because they're going to need it, too. They're going to need somebody's forgiveness. And that's that's with all of us. We are going to need somebody's forgiveness. And it's, it's, to me, it's a requirement of life. You, that's, to me, that's something you, you have to do, <laughs> you know, you know, and I know people don't believe that way, but the way my heart works, I, I believe you owe it to people to forgive them, especially if they ask, because harboring the hate and bitterness does what? It's not progressive, doesn't help anybody, makes you sick. <laughs> So I just wanted to throw that out there uh, and uh, give my little take on that. You know, I wish him the best uh, in his life. And uh, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.